Shalom, Kalhalal Yom Le'yahuwa Ba'ashem Yehoshai, Ba'ashem Urcha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well, who I learned this truth from, and salutations and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Uh, this video is going to deal with um, a, uh, a video that I've seen from uh, from YouTube. Um, the, the, the channel is called Just Pearly Clips, and... Um, these are like highlights of uh, this woman's podcast. Uh, she goes by just pearly things, I guess. That's the name of the channel, and uh, you know she she uh, she appears to be an Edomite woman, but I, I don't know if she's Irish or what, what, or Scottish. What kind of roots she has? She could be an Israelite. You know, there's people that get offended at that, but nonetheless, she brings up very valid points. You know about women. The reality and accountability And this is a clip I seen today And it was pretty interesting because This is something that is in the scriptures, right? And this is this is a topic that the men of Specifically GMS We have been actually falsely accused of We have been, um, you know um, You know, basically we've been We've been Um made infamous of this point that we keep bringing out that we can't even use this word on YouTube that's why the title of of the of the of the video on here even that I recorded is called women are turned up so it's like a women are turned on by grape scene and people in the comment board some of them they actually thought it was talking about grapes you know you can put two and two together I'm not going to say it right but this is something that's in the scriptures and we're going to bring it out. But I'm going to play the video first and then uh, maybe go back to certain points that they were talking about or maybe pick it apart, you know, whichever way. But it's a, it's just a one minute clip. I'm going to play it. Those are turned on by grape scenes, like in movies. Like, yeah, it's like, yes. it's like no. I swear Sorry, to God, you a, for real? No, I'm serious. It's like a whole thing on Reddit. Yeah. So psychiatrists are now saying, is that really? But they're saying that's a mental disorder. I don't. I think that's evolution slightly, as like right. effed up as that is. What what happened evolutionarily? Right. They, right. they would they would take the women, kill the kids. So I mean, I, I, that's my guess. Mm. But I heard it. That's that's what I thought of was like throughout history that's what like happened that was just blow my mind i had no clue about that i don't know oh, they would take that's what happened in Do you know why because uh, you people everybody's been in babylon too friggin long man right you people have, have have bought a fairy tale right not only do you believe that women you know are, are, no, are nothing but princesses and goddesses and and you have to bow down to her and serve her basically and 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 you know go into debt for her and, and you have to worry and keep her happy and do all these crazy things that they instilled in your peon brain. <laughs> but you people believe the way we're living now is actually the right way. You know? And this is the this is the moment in history where, you know, this is the greatest time in history that that people have been the most sick, you know, ill, completely bugged out. All kinds of different philosophies and ways of life, you know. Um, no, you know the the majority of men are not strong. Doesn't you know to be a strong masculine man in this society is actually deemed toxic. So everything is messed up. Everything is 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 turned upside down in this wicked place. So this peon here on that dude, he's like, oh, I really can't believe that, right? Well, just like you you can't believe that a woman works off a thing called hypergamy or hypergamy. Whichever way you want to say it, you know, she only dates up the ladder, you know, you want to, like I said, you want to believe a woman is, is everything, you know, nice, sweet, <laughs> all right, well, this is the reality, and these are, like I said, these were psychologists, not our, that Elamite that appeared to be an Elamite, she said, look, well, that's a mental disorder, right, well, first of all, a lot of you women are crazy, we know that, we already know that, but it's not because... You're, you're just like that It's because the uh, the amount of men you deal with The body count you have Which in this society is actually what? That's celebrated Oh, how many body counts? I can't even count that <laughs> Why would you ask that? That's a silly question <coughs> <coughs> Right? That's a silly ass question Why would you even ask me that? 
body count. <laughs> I forgot. I stopped counting after 50 or whatever, the, you know, whatever the number is, man. All right. But this is the society we live in. We deem it or you people deem it at least. We are not of this world. That's why we keep saying us, the, the, the men in this truth in this ministry. We don't we're not of this world. We're in it, but we're not of it. You people deem that this is the most civilized society ever and this is the greatest empire and we're so great and there's so many adv advancements in, in, in technology and medicine and nah man, America spends the most amount of money in the world on its healthcare and it has the most amount of sick people in the world man. <laughs> It's like they would, yeah. they would kill the men, kill the kids, take the women. Mm. If the old women wow. were gone to. Yeah, and then Damn. people, and you're saying women are turned on by grit. No, well, it, not it's all. Like <laughs> this dude's trying to put a one on one. But <laughs> yo, man, we're talking about every single friggin' time period, this was common. Every empire the Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Egyptians, the Romans. Yes, the Greeks, yes. <laughs> right? Every empire, man, on the planet, right, during during history, this was this was how it went for the majority of ways. Right? That's why that's why tribe tribesmanship, right? Just being a tribe, being a village, right? Everybody has to do a part. Everybody either gotta draw water, defend, uh Till the land, you know, that's why if you're just a sluggard, why do you think sluggardness, everybody got to do their part, man, because you have, you have another tribe or another kingdom that'll just come and now you got to fight or die. And then when they come, look, they just come and they come in force and whatever, if they, you know, they kill everybody, guess what? They're always going to keep the young women. Majority of times they're not going to keep even the married women. They're just going to kill them. And guess what? This is in the Bible. The supremacy of this land, right? The book that the 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 E <laughs> the book that the E the E's swear on, it's in the Bible. We're gonna bring it out. Well, yeah, but like there's it, some women out there that are turned the, on I by mean, those that's seats. the number one I we had an only a male only fans model on the show. That's his number one request. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, because this man said, wow, he's shocked, you know, he's very shocked, man. So let's go to numbers. Let's go to actually the law, right? This is the thing that, oh, you guys, you, you, first of all, there's nobody in GMS that has ever been convicted or, or even um, charged or arrested for any kind of uh, uh, rape, right? So you guys that claim, oh, GMS is, is, is this camp and, and that camp, you know, Right, I said the word. I'm not going to say it again. It's a slip up. But you guys claim all these things. Like years ago, you had this character, General Yohanna, which I don't know where he is now. But you had him back then claiming these things. And he had a radio show that <clears throat> different GMS brothers were calling on. I believe it was on a Monday. Every Monday he had this show. And he can say, call in. Here's a number. Call in. So there was a... There was a character that allegedly he lived in a city in toronto in the G greater toronto area gta he allegedly said that one of our members in, in the toronto camp he was um, he raped a 90 something year old woman and i remember this because it wasn't no 80 it wasn't the 70 he said a 90 90 something year old woman and i think the video is still up of me calling or me doing a video on it years ago on this channel is still on i think but anyway after that, I, I called in the show, and he would always ask, oh, Carla, what's your name? Where are you calling from? And then he would ask, are you a GMS member? And then, you know, I said, yeah. And then he said, is it true? And then he started asking these questions. I said, no. I, I, I said, I want to know who said that. And then I want to know where's the article, where's the video uh, uh, on the news, where, 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 you know, where's the, where's the public, you know, if somebody raped a 90-year-old woman, man, that, that would be on the news. Right? The person's name will be out there. Everything will be out there, man. If you go out there <laughs> and, and 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 violate and force, you know, a senior woman like that, <clears throat> that would be on the news. So this dude basically started yelling and bantering and then he basically cut me off. So I couldn't call back and blocked the number. 
All right. But that was an occurrence, man. So that's another thing that you got to take accountability for. Because that was some BS, man. Because all the brothers were on your ass, man. You know, we were getting on you about the MOTB that we're still getting on you about. And then you got these Babylonian Israelites, I'm going to call them now. You guys are Babylonian Israelites. Like Apostle Har says, you guys been in Babylon too damn long. Right? You guys are You guys are Babylonian Israelites that... When you read this scripture, Deuteronomy 22 and 28, if a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her and lie with her and they be found. See, so, so there's all kinds of interpretations for, that these guys bring up about lay hold. Johanna said lay hold means you, uh, You charm and disarm her, basically. You use, uh, 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 um, what's that? Uh, sh uh, not chivalry. You basically game her. You win her over with your sweet words. That does not, that's not what lay hold on means. Okay? Although that, that is a, that is a, that is a big, uh, case and you can win women over because a lot of women, first of all, their biggest sexual organ is their mind. You stimulate their mind in a certain way, and you got them. But this is not what that's talking about. Because when you look up this word, lay hold, the word grape, <laughs> look up the word grape. It means to seize. Right? It means to seize. So this word is thapash, which means to catch, handle, lay hold, take hold, to seize, to wield. To arrest, that's what the word grape means, arrest or seize, right? So guess what, when a cop, when a police, of a, a centurion arrests you, you have been graped. Verse 29, then the man that lay with her, meaning what? He, he copulated, right? Shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife. And because he hath humbled her, he may not put her away all his days. Right, so so this scripture is so controversial, but this was a law in the scriptures, man, and this was a thing that was a part of a uh, 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 majority of any kingdom. And do you see why in the video they're like, oh, that, well, it's evolutionary. She says she terms the word evolutionary, but in a sense, evolutionary just means you know in stages. But what they mean is is, is Darwin's madness. But at the end of the day, you cannot ignore history. Right, that that was just part of. That, that's why a woman, when she's walking out at night, that's that's a thing. Why is that a thing? Because of that, because her getting arrested, <laughs> held up, man, right? Which in this society, people uh, uh, people do that are off, man. You're not supposed to do that shit, right? And that's why you guys claim that oh oh, GMS, they do that. Show me that. Show me that where where brother did that. And show me a video where we said, yeah, you can go do that. <laughs> we're, first of all, we're telling you what's a law. And there's a lot of laws you cannot keep in this place. And I'm not saying, first of all, and you know, that's the thing like these guys are saying. Like, oh, that's the thing that these guys keep and, and they would they would uphold that. You know, they, they, that would be like the first law we would keep, basically. That's how they kind of try to spin it. I'm just saying that's the thing in, in, in the scriptures where that was a part of a lot of history, man. Of a lot of kingdoms. Because it was just something that men did. When you go and you kill and you pillage another uh, city or village or whatever, a settlement, right? A few of your friends died, but you took it and you got the spoils. And you and you have a scar and, you, and you're sweating, you're bleeding, and, and you know, your, your adrenaline's rushing. And you see a beautiful woman. Your testosterone's pumping, man. You're not going to tell me anything, you know? That's just a part of history, man. That's not like, oh, it, had, it just happened for this century in history. No, no, no. This happened. This is part of the law. <laughs> That's what, the most I made you. So he knows what the hell he made, man. You guys are just too damn offended. And like I said, you've been in Babylon too damn long. He is a, here's a bigger example, right? This is Numbers 31 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel to the Midianites. Afterward shall thou be gathered unto thy people. And Moses spake unto the people, saying, Arm some of yourselves unto the war and let them go against the Midianites and avenge the Lord Yahweh of Midian. 
of every tribe a thousand throughout all the tribes of Israel shall ye send to the war. So there, there were delivered out of the thousands of Israel a thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them. I'm going to skip down. This is the whole part, uh, point right here, but verse 7 is the point. And they warred against the Midianites as the Lord Yahweh commanded Moses. And they slew all the males. What did we, what did we uh, play in the video, right? They said they killed all the males. And then they kept the women, the, the young women for themselves. Verse 8, And they slew the kings of Midian beside the rest of them that were slain, ne namely Evi and Rechem and Zur and Hur and Reba, five kings of Midian. Balaam also the son of Beor, they slew with the sword. So these are top top men, top chief men, top dons, bro. Right? Men that had power, they, they slew. They took them out of power. And verse 9, And the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives and their little ones and took the spoil of their cattle and all their flocks and all their goods. And they burnt all their cities where they, wherein they dwelt and all their goodly castles with fire. And they took all the spoil and all the prey, both of men and of beasts, which another word for prey or spoil is booty. Okay. Now I'm going to jump down to the offensive part. <laughs> this is verse uh, 17. Now they're four. This is Moses speaking. I'm going to start at 15. And Moses said unto them, Have ye saved all the women alive? Behold, these caused the children of Israel through the counsel of Balaam to commit trespass against the Lord Yahweh in the matter of Peor. And there was a plague among the congregation of the Lord Yahweh. Right? Because see, when you sin... Your reward is sin. The wages of de uh, of sin is death. So when you sin, look, the Mosai had a plague, right? It could have been whatever. It could have been a plague of the lungs. It could it, it could have been any kind of plague, right? It says, verse seventeen. Now therefore, kill every every male among the little ones, and kill every woman or woman that hath known man by lying with him. What is that? A, a, a woman that's been used. Okay? So, so we can get that out of the way. A woman that's been popped. A, a woman that's been married. Kill, d d you know, basically the Mosai is telling you, get rid of them. Verse 18. But all the women, children, that have not known a man by lying with him, keep alive for yourselves. That's plain as day. It's crystal clear. And it said women, children, meaning women... That became women, but they were young. Right? Let's not get let's not get that twisted because in America, in in states like New York, for example, you had a, a woman that could marry at the age of 14. I believe there are some states that was even younger, but we know when a woman turns into a woman, and we know women aren't really supposed to be in school with you know, um, boys and girls aren't supposed to be together in school. I remember when I was in grade seven. I guess I guess you were uh, no. I was in grade six, and we were in um, gym class, and and we had to split the gym between the grade sixes and sevens. So grade seven, you're you're what you're uh, you're like twelve years old, thirteen. You know, twelve years old around there. So this woman, or this girl, well, you could say a woman now, woman child. You know, they were over there on the next side, and this this one girl. Um, she, she was in grade seven. She was a year older than us. She was, she was, she was, you know, in the gym or whatever, and she was in white pants. And then she got her thing. She got her period. And and that was her first time. And then people were making, you know, you know, people are kids are whatever, and they make fun of her or whatever. So she had to leave. But I, you know, you know, that just stuck in my mind. Like, damn, that's nasty. That's not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to have that boys and girls together. Women and men are different, right? And you had different. Schools of learning for each. You know, but anyway, that's that's so you can understand, right? Because these women, guess what? These, these these kids, a lot of these girls, you know, you, you talk about, oh, a 14-year-old being with like a 20-year-old or 30-year-old, that's disgusting, that's nasty. But then when she gets like 16, 17, she can, she can date them older dudes. It get, it's normal. 
Because in high school, that was normal, man. Them, them 15, 16, 17-year-olds, they were dating dudes in their mid to late 20s. But guess what? Uh, 50 years ago, they were actually marrying those kind of guys. Because they, they were established. Right? And in the ancient world, the father made sure that the man was established before he can be betrothed to his daughter. You know, but his daughter was younger, man. 14, 15, you know? The younger, the better. By age 30, they tell you that you know the 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 um per, the percentage of a healthy birth for a woman it diminishes greatly right it d diminishes actually drastically you know so i just wanted to bring that out because that's a um, that's a thing that a lot of people can't handle and i just wanted to show that video to show that look this is real world stuff that people aren't talking about well, i guess they're talking about and they're too offended at it but meanwhile you have pedophilia being legalized man and you have Hunter Biden's laptop out in out in the abyss for no one to see, you know. But anyway, I hope you're edified. I want to say kahalalium. The blindness to the apostles of GMS who rule well, who I learned this truth from. And uh Kwame Asharala. I hope uh, everybody has a good um uh, feast of uh blowing of the trumpets tonight. Kwame Asharala, Abad Babal. And uh, you know, this last last thought. This is just to show you, uh, once again, the importance of a man, okay? A, a woman striding alone by herself, you know, not, not, not a care in the world in this society, right? But at the end of the day, a lot of these women in the back of their head, they know, right? They have that feeling. But th this is why I'm saying this is another point of having a strong man that can defend you because this was, this was and is a real thing. You know, but anyway, Shalom.